5 Habits to Go From Chaos to Calm Introduction If you find yourself always stressed and in the middle of chaos all the time, you might be wondering how you can make a calmer lifestyle for yourself. Turning chaos into calm takes a lot of work, so you need to be prepared for the challenge. Every step is worth it though, once you have mastered these 5 techniques and habits, you'll find that being less stressed and having less chaos in your life is one of the best things you can do for yourself. 1. Practice mindfulness, this is one of the top habits you need to learn when it comes to turning daily chaos into calm. Mindfulness can get your mental health back on track even when you feel like there is nothing that can be done. Mindfulness is one of the most used tips and tricks used by therapists as well. If you are seeing a counselor, they will often teach you how to be more mindful so that you can become less stressed. Mindfulness is a concept and a habit. Depending on your current mindset, mindfulness might be very simple or it could be very challenging. You will need to focus more on being mindful if your current mindset is always negative or unfocused. Mindfulness needs to be practiced daily to be the most effective it can be. The first thing to incorporate into your daily routine is slowing down. It can be easy to always be focused on work, but this is the furthest thing from healthy, you have to slow down to be mindful. This is because being mindful involves appreciating everything in life. Even the things that might seem small and mundane, start with small changes and then work yourself up to larger ones. You should also start to make small changes to your daily routine to eventually turn it into a routine that has mindfulness in every step, too. Free yourself from clutter, almost everyone's home has a space or area that is cluttered. While you can ignore this clutter for short periods of time, this clutter can start negatively affecting your life in ways. You could have never imagined, there are many reasons why you might hang on to items in your life and allow them to create clutter in your home. One of the main reasons people allow clutter is that they have items with sentimental value that they are afraid to get rid of, some people also keep items because they think they might need them later or they promise themselves they are going to make something new out of the old items. Realistically, this never happens, you will probably never go back to those old items and make something new. So, it's time to get rid of those items you do not use. Start to free yourself from clutter by cleaning out those junk drawers in the home, if you have items from past relationships. You need to make sure to also get rid of these items. Hanging on to them can make you dwell in the past and cause you not to be able to find another meaningful relationship, clutter might not seem like a big deal, but it can cause stress. Take a day or a few days to go through your home and find the items you no longer use. You can donate them so someone else can make use of them, if you have an office, make sure this space is also clutter free. Clean out your drawers and desk surface. Make sure you can clearly see your work and tasks for the day. Staying organized can help you focus and make sure you are able to complete all your work tasks in a timely manner. Cluttered space can also lead to anxiety because you feel like you don't have control over your home and your living space. Clutter also makes it harder to clean your home and office. If you are constantly consumed with cleaning and have to spend your free time cleaning the house, this can lead to stress. Make sure you are freeing your life from clutter so that you can free your mind and body. If you are finding it hard to get rid of things in your home, consider calling over a friend or relative. They might be able to help you figure out which items to keep and which ones to throw away. 3. Organize your mind. If your mind is in chaos, then your life is for sure also in chaos. The mind is the most powerful part of the body because it can allow you to overcome extremely stressful situations. When your mind is in the right place, you can be sure to have less stress and chaos in your life. One of the best ways to organize your mind is by breaking down complicated thoughts. Dort through your mind at the end of every day and see if there are any thoughts that are particularly bothersome or stressful, try breaking them down and seeing what thought is causing the most stress. Breaking them down into separate thoughts can help you see that you can break them down and make them into bite-sized pieces. It can also remove anxieties from thoughts since smaller thoughts are easier to deal with and solve. Reflecting is also a great way to organize your mind. Reflecting is also a part of being mindful as I mentioned earlier in this guide. Reflay is one of the best ways to keep a calm mind, reflecting can also you to see what's bothering you. When you know what is bothering you, 
you can immediately begin to take steps to solve the issues which can help you move on from anxiety and depression. One of the best ways to reflect on your thoughts is to write them down. Journaling is a great way to vent. It also allows you to keep a record of how you were feeling so you can go back and refer to it later. If you prefer not to write, you can record your thoughts. Make sure to save the audio somewhere safe so you can go back and listen to it later. Listening back to how you were feeling can give you true insight into how you felt before you made life changes, it allows you to see how far you have come. Journaling and recording yourself can also show you how hard you have worked to make life changes. 4. Don't stress about things out of your control, one of the main things that cause chaos in life is stressing about things that are out of control. However, when something is out of control, stressing does no good. You cannot control the future or the past, so it's important to just try and let it go, the past is often what people stress about. The past is in the past though and cannot be changed or controlled. Being stuck in the past can cause overwhelming stress because you feel like you want to change something but you cannot, another thing you may find yourself constantly focusing on is the way that others think about you and view you. Do you constantly worry that others are judging you or wondering why you do something a certain way, you cannot change the ways others think about you. It can be frustrating to know that someone is misjudging you. But it's a part of life that you cannot control. Try to let go of these worries as they just bring stress to your mind and make it impossible to focus on the present and other things that really matter, not everyone will like you. This doesn't mean you are doing something wrong. It just means you are human and normal. If everyone liked you, this would not be normal, try to focus on certain thoughts and make these your priority. Make sure you are only thinking about things that are in your control. This way you are focusing on things that matter and not on things that waste your mental energy, wasting mental energy is one of the major things that lead to burnout and not being able to focus on work tasks and personal relationships. Wasting mental energy also makes simple tasks hard. You might find yourself unable to work or do things that used to be easy. This is because you are giving all your energy to overthinking and focusing on the things out of your control. 5. Make a daily plan, if you want to lead a calmer and more fulfilling life, you need to have a daily routine that you follow. Routines do not need to be boring or overdone. It can be a few simple tasks you do before bed or a simple routine you follow before heading back to work in the morning. Make sure to start your days slowly. Waking up late or waking up with too many things to do in the morning easily leads to stress. Make sure you prep for the day ahead the night before. Wake up with enough time to relax in the morning so that you are not forgetting things and rush off to work, getting enough sleep is also imperative. You need to make sure you go to bed around the same time every day or you will be exhausted and have a chaotic mind the next day. Getting enough rest makes your mind calm. It also helps you clear chaotic thoughts, another thing you can incorporate into your daily life is positive thinking. When the day becomes chaotic and you find yourself having spiraling thoughts. Try to get back on track and only think of positive things. Staying in the realm of negativity makes every part of life harder from working to relationships to studying to even cleaning the home. When you have positive thinking, going about your daily life is much easier, make sure you are also ending your day with gratitude. Even if there were moments during the day when you found yourself not being appreciative, you can still end the day with thankfulness. This can be the most important part of your day, one of the best things you can do is have a journal where you write down what you are thankful for. This really puts your life into perspective and shows you all the different things you have in life that are worth cherishing. The main thing to remember when it comes to your plan is that each plan is different and you need to make the plan that works best for you. If you see others trying to give you suggestions that do not work for you, you do not have to take their advice, mindfulness plans also take some trial and error. You might find certain things that work for you and others do not. This is okay. As long as you are working on a plan that can take you further in life and show you all that you have to be appreciative of. Final thoughts, these five habits can completely change your life when you practice them daily and incorporate them into all aspects of your life. Some of the habits are simple while you might find other habits challenging, whatever you find challenging, 
try to work on it more. You will need more practice to feel comfortable doing it. If you do not practice it, you will not succeed at doing it. Habits do not form overnight so each habit needs its own time and practice before it becomes an easy part of your life. Please check the description section if you want to grab the copy of the ebook file with the free audiobook. Please hit the subscribe button for the support of our channel and share our videos for more new upcoming content. We are very happy to create new ideas and review for everyone. God bless and happy listening.